Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 Apple's shift to micro LED display technology is reportedly under process. Consider the following statements about micro LED display technology. 1 They are self-illuminating diodes that have brighter and better color reproduction than organic light emitting diode OLED display technology. To the basis of micro LED technology is sapphires. Three microds have limitless scalability as they are resolution free, bezel free, ratio free and even size free. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is C. Question 2 with reference to avian influenza H5N1, consider the following statements. 1. It is a type of influenza virus that causes a highly infectious, severe respiratory disease in birds called avian influenza or bird flu. 2. Human cases of H5N1 avian influenza occur occasionally, but it is very easily transmitted from person to person. 3. The mortality rate in humans is about 60%. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is B. Human cases of H5N1 avian influenza occur occasionally, but it is difficult to transmit the infection from person to person. Question 3 with reference to Obrite, consider the following statements. 1. Obrites are a group of meteorites named for Obers, a small achondrite meteorite that fell near Nyons, France, in 1836. 2. They are coarse-grained metamorphic rocks that formed in oxygen-poor conditions. 3. They contain a variety of exotic minerals that are not found on Earth. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 3 only The answer is B. They are coarse-grained igneous rocks that formed in oxygen-poor conditions. Question 4. Consider the following statements about pyroxenes. 1. Every meteorite known till date was composed of orthopyroxene. 2. Pyroxenes are silicates consisting of single chains of silica tetrahedra. CO4 orthopyroxenes are pyroxenes with a certain structure. 3. Rocks with pyroxene have been used to make a crushed stone that is used in construction. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is D. Around 90% of the meteorite was composed of orthopyroxene. Pyroxenes such as diopside and jadeite have been used as gems. Spodumene was historically used as lithium ore. Question 5 with reference to larvae of the black soldier fly, Hermesia illusions consider the following statements. 1. They have a high nutritional value and are easy to raise. 2. The larvae feed on a variety of organic matter from rejected food waste to manure. 3. AM black soldier fly larvae is capable of converting the organic waste into wide range of useful vitamins and minerals. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is C. The larvae feed on a variety of organic matter from rejected food waste to manure. Insects also have high waste to biomass conversion efficiency. This means, unlike hot-blooded mammals and birds, 
which use a lot of energy to keep themselves warm, insects are efficient converters of food into body mass. The black soldier fly larvae can thus be a low-cost, low-footprint, eco-friendly as well as natural feed companion to poultry farmers. Question 6 Consider the following statements about Nirman Se Shakti Initiative. 1. An initiative presented by the Niti Ayo. To the initiative has been started to strengthen and modernize the infrastructure of ESIC hospitals and dispensaries in a phased manner. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one nor two. The answer is B. An initiative presented by the Employees State Insurance Corporation, ESIC. Question 7. Consider the following statements about sulfate emissions. 1. Inactive volcanoes contributed 66% of sulfate emissions, known to cool the planet, in the pre-industrial era. 2. Sulfate emissions can be traced back to natural sources such as volcanoes and industrial processes, including oil combustion, traffic emissions, and coal burning. 3. Sulfur dioxide, released from natural as well as anthropogenic sources, reacts with water vapor and other gases in the atmosphere to create sulfate aerosols. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is C. Sulfur dioxide, released from natural as well as anthropogenic sources, reacts with water vapor and other gases in the atmosphere to create sulfate aerosols. They can cool the planet by reflecting sunlight into space. They also form clouds, which also tend to have a cooling effect. Question 8 with reference to monkeypox, consider the following statements. 1. Monkeypox is a zoonotic viral disease with symptoms similar to smallpox but is less contagious. 2. It was first diagnosed in humans in 1970 in the South Africa in Africa. 3. It currently has a case fatality ratio of 3 to 6 percent. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 3 only. The answer is B. It was first diagnosed in humans in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of Congo in Africa. It spreads from one individual to the other by close contact with lesions, body fluids, respiratory droplets of infected individuals as well as contaminated materials such as bedding. Monkeypox typically presents clinically with fever, rash, and swollen lymph nodes and may lead to a range of medical complications. Thank you everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.